What's up guys, Mark Wiedenbach here with my Arnold shirt because we're talking about testosterone. 10 points, 10 ways to raise your test levels naturally. So testosterone builds muscle, burns fat, gives healthier bones, is the best antidepressant out there and so on and so forth. Sadly, as we get older, less and less and less. So we kind of peak in our 20s and then testosterone levels drop. So then, of course, the one option is very popular these days, and we covered this in an, another video, is TRT. You know, where people go on testosterone replacement therapy, they get the injection, the cream, whatever you want to call it. But it has risks. Like any medical procedure, you're playing with your hormones, there are risks. So I feel, regardless if you are opting for the chemical solution or not, you should follow these 10 points I'm about to give just to optimize everything else. Number one, or number 10, no matter how you want to count it, is you must train with weights. Weight training raises testosterone, okay? Now, before I go any further, none of these 10 points I'll be giving will raise your testosterone levels to steroid levels, okay? So get that out of your head. No training, no supplement, no diet can replace drugs or will replace drugs. Drugs are drugs, lifestyle is lifestyle. But if you do those things, you're gonna be in a much more optimized position. So, train with weights, don't train longer than 45 minutes, four times a week, five times a week, that should suffice. You know, the more muscle you build, the higher your levels will be, okay? Number two, sounds obvious, don't eat junk. Don't overeat, don't undereat. Excessive dieting, meaning very low calories, and excessive overeating, both lower testosterone, so stay away. Number three, greet your friend the sun. Sunlight, or vitamin D3, will absolutely increase your testosterone, think 25%, okay? So 50 minutes in the sun, or if you live in the northeast as we do, where the winter can be up to eight months, take vitamin D3, okay? That's number one. Lower your stress levels, I know. Easier said than done, but a lot of stuff we do that stresses us out, that really doesn't make any sense. Like, do you need this Facebook fight about politics? Is it really gonna help you? Or could you just let it go? How much news do you need to watch in a day and get upset about one particular party or the other? You can let that go. A lot of low level stress will absolutely lower your testosterone and up your cortisol, okay? So if you can, if you can let some stuff go and focus on the stuff that actually matters, you'll do better. So we cover diet and training. And then of course that leaves us with sleep, okay? So sleep or lack thereof is a, is a huge problem. So on average, we're sleeping about two hours less than people in the 80s. Okay, part of that is we work longer or there's more of a distraction of electronics or whatever. But here are the sad, sad facts. If you sleep five hours, your testosterone levels drop by 30%. If it's four hours, it's even less, okay? So I'm not gonna give you, you should sleep eight hours because that might not be a risk for you, but six to eight, somewhere there is, is very, I would say, a minimum. Some people can do a nap and sleep well at night, other people cannot, maybe your job doesn't permit for it or so, but you must get a clean six hours, okay? So from there on, I'm gonna, the next point I shall group together as sort of lifestyle, okay? So there are certain things. Stay away from highly processed foods because they contain chemicals and preservatives that will, you know, play havoc with your hormones. Try to stay away from BPA, certain plastics, you know, microwave those plastics, in the, mic in the microwave, you should use glass. That also plays a role. Try to have an active sex life. That should be easier said than done, but that also raises testosterone. So like overall, you know, being somewhat happy or content definitely plays a huge role. Then, this, this is America, we want pills, right? Mike, give me something. What about supplements? So supplements, there isn't really anything that like, raise, but we can work in terms of what we are deficient on, okay? A lot of us are deficient in zinc and magnesium which are critical to create, to make testosterone. So that's definitely worth looking into, like a supplement of zinc and magnesium. Then uh, ashwagandha has some benefits that might raise testosterone. So does garlic of all things and ingwer, okay? Now, again, back to square one. None of these supplements will work as well as the drugs, okay? But they will help you to get to a healthy level without the side effects. The biggest one for testosterone, is obesity. So obese males at the ages of 15 to 30, I saw a study, their testosterone levels are 40% lower than their lean counterparts. 
which means if you lose weight, that's the single best thing you can do to raise your testosterone levels. Okay? The single best tool for raising testosterone is, drum roll please, fake drum roll, losing weight. Okay? So let me give you the opposite example. Obese males from 15 to 30 years of age, their testosterone levels are about 40% lower than that of their lean counterparts. Okay? So if you're losing weight, your hormonal balance will increase and you will have more testosterone because muscle and fat fight for the same hormone. So the more fat you carry, the more testosterone you get lost. Okay? So there you have it. You must train with weights. You should sleep a sufficient amount. You should eat a balanced diet, nothing crazy. Get into the sun. Um, check your medications. A lot of medications actually lower testosterone, especially ones that deal with uh, statins, such as cholesterol. Then there is over lifestyle, avoid certain plastics. For supplements, you can do, you know, like I said, zinc magnesium. But most importantly, lose weight. Okay? So now let's look into a couple of foods that, on the one hand, lower testosterone, and on the other hand, can raise it. Okay? So let's go into the ones you should avoid at all costs. So there's trans fats. Now, trans fats in this great city of ours, New York City, thanks to our awesome famer, former Mayor Bloomberg, are outlawed. So, no more trans fats. Trans fats are one of the few German inventions that went wrong. So, sorry about that. They were great in like the 1850s, but we found out they actually caused all kinds of heart disease or so. So, margarine, all that stuff has to go. No trans fats. Stay away from low grade meats. Okay? Low grade meats, they have the long shelf life because they're packed full of chemicals, and those chemicals will again not agree with your hormones. And then there is packaged meals like microwave meals and plastic. So at least fill them into a glass bowl. Um, Whatever is pre-packaged and has a long shelf life, again, is full of chemicals. What foods do raise testosterone? So again, there's nothing that really raises testosterone, but you can give your body the you know, ingredients it needs to make more testosterone. Okay? For instance, whey protein. Whey protein brings down cortisol. Lower cortisol means more testosterone. Just like we talked about stress beforehand, the higher your stress is, the lower your, cholesterol, the lower your testosterone. Okay? So whey protein, um, ricotta cheese would work for that also. Then there's coconut oil. Coconut oil is a saturated fat, which is the building block for testosterone. Also makes tough stuff kind of taste good, I think, personally. Um, egg yolk, same thing, okay? Contains saturated fat and out of those cholesterols, the body makes testosterone. Oysters, because they have zinc, which we're often deficient in. Um, leafy greens, because they carry magnesium, which is also one of the um, minerals we need to make testosterone. Then garlic, garlic, the allium in garlic actually lowers cholesterol, uh, not cholesterol, my goodness, cortisol. The lower your cortisol is, the more testosterone you will have. Okay? So there you have a couple ideas what to do with your diet. As you can tell, it's all you know, clean foods and so on and so forth. And if you follow those 10 pointers, your testosterone levels will definitely improve. I feel, and this is just a complete sidebar, that very often in my practice or in general, people go for TRT, so they get their blood work done and they go on testosterone. But you know, in all fairness, if your diet is off, your training is off, if you're obese, if you're, not, if you're not sleeping enough, if you're consuming a lot of you know, chemicals through your food, then I feel you're taking a health risk that is you know, not really justifiable because you're not having the, 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 the playground for the perf per perfect outcome, okay? So if you choose to go the chemical route and I'm not judging anybody, you should make sure everything else is in check first, okay? Mike out.